guys are excited for the brand new Call of Duty game to come out this year, make sure to smash that like button. I'm trying to see how many people are excited for this game. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we are going to be covering a lot of new leaks and rumors regarding Call of Duty 2020. Every time there's like a bunch of like news and rumors and stuff and leaks, I, I basically make a video talking about everything. And I've been doing this for the past like three months now and it's really cool to, you know, just talk about all the rumors, talk about what I think personally and just see what you guys think as well. Over the past like week or so, so many new rumors have come out and I'm like, I, I just need to make a video of this. I need to talk about this. Currently July, we still don't have the reveal and the official announcement of the new Call of Duty game apparently dropping this year. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about all the information. If you guys are excited, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new for more Call of Duty 2020 videos. And with all that being said, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, boys, so we have a ton of information to cover about Call of Duty 2020, the next Treyarch game, the next Black Ops series game. According to Exclusive Ace, which is another YouTuber who reports on a lot of information and whatnot, he uploaded a video, I believe, like a week ago, something like that. Yeah, he had a lot of, uh, I guess, intel or leaks and rumors. Uh, he had a source of someone, I guess, who has, you know, played Black Ops 5 or COD 2020. All of Exclusive Ace's information is coming from someone who has actually, like, play tested the game and knows what's going on. And also huge shout out to Charlie Intel for, you know, putting all this information into an article. All the links are in the description. So it is said that COD 2020 will include zombies, campaign, multiplayer, and also Warzone. Warzone will be making its return into the next COD 2020. And uh, that's actually very, very exciting because of how big, uh, you know, Warzone actually is. Like Warzone pretty much saved Modern Warfare. It is the biggest thing right now going on in Call of Duty. And yeah, I'm not surprised that they're, you know, going to be including Warzone into COD Black Ops or, you know, a COD 2020, whatever it's going to be called. I don't know how these guys actually got a sniper's nest, but I'm also going to try and turn up myself real quick. I got a sniper's nest of my own. So let's throw up the sniper's nest, throw up the thresher, and we secure the strike team as well. I really want to get these streaks and then just talk about, you know, all the information that I have for you guys, because I know you guys are curious about COD 2020. All right, there's the strike team. Oh my, and I just got freaking knifed. So the first thing, guys, COD 2020 is in fact set in the Cold War era. We basically knew that. I've made tons of videos already speaking about Call of Duty 2020, and yeah, we all know it's going to be called, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops or Call of Duty Cold War, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. We really don't know the official title yet. The game is actually in a good state with multiplayer maps almost done. That's a really, really good sign. A lot of these like rumors and articles and everything like that, uh, they've been saying that the game is in like really, really bad shape, but nope. Uh, apparently multiplayer is actually in a very, very good state with the maps almost done basically, which is really, really awesome. Campaign is fully playable state, but not all animations are complete yet. So the campaign is pretty much done. A lot of people were mad that Black Ops 4 didn't actually have a campaign. So I think a lot of people are going to be excited this time around that there will be a campaign for COD 2020. It says that there will be a new map for Warzone with 2020 game and says he seen an overview of the new Warzone map. So that's extremely interesting. Kind of going back to like our point. Uh, yes, Warzone will be returning with COD 2020. And it's saying that the new Black Ops game will actually introduce a brand new Warzone map. Standard minimap is back similar to previous Call of Duty games prior to Modern Warfare. This is probably the best news all day. So yeah, the standard minimap is back. You know, when the enemies shoot, uh, you know, a red dot actually shows up. The minimap is pretty horrible when it comes to Modern Warfare, man. It's just the enemies will shoot. There's no red dots on the map and it's just really really bad i i personally don't like it so i'm super excited to hear that the standard map is back from like all the previous call of duties everything you know prior to modern warfare swimming mechanic returns and there will be water in multiplayer maps alongside water in the new warzone map now swimming is not actually a mechanic within modern warfare or in warzone but that was a mechanic in all the black ops uh black ops 4 multiplayer maps and you know in blackout as well unlimited sprint is back too that's really good i'm always a fan of unlimited sprint i think that personally just kind of like makes people want to run around and not camp and you know I, I really do like that I'm really happy that unlimited sprint is back hopefully that speeds up the gameplay a lot less campers because I no one likes campers man everyone's tired of the campers in modern warfare and I think this will actually speed up the gameplay and make things a lot better there's no interact doors in regular um mechanic stays in warzone see yes there will be interactable doors only in warzone but not in multiplayer thank god man the, the doors the freaking doors in modern warfare multiplayer were just so dumb in my opinion I don't know I just got so 
tired of it like really really quick and i just actually went 55 and 3 crazy first game on and we made the sweat guy the dark matter vmp guy leave on the other team i thought that was pretty cool just continuing on here though it says 10 multiplayer maps are apparently developed so far more probably in the works treyarch style maps so if you guys are familiar with treyarch style maps they are three lane maps uh linear maps there's no like crazy crazy buildings with a lot of windows like in modern warfare he said one map is very small and a boat on the black sea hopefully it's kind of like hijacked from black ops 2 i think that'd be really really awesome uh, it just says right here tank which is the map that was shown in the leaked gameplay earlier so yeah there was actually leaked gameplay but yeah like a little bit ago like a few weeks ago there was apparently leaked alpha gameplay of call of duty 2020 and tank is apparently the map that was shown in that footage so moving on here guys the next point it says no specialists but a field upgrade like feature is returning so i kind of figured specialists weren't going to be a feature or like a mechanic returning into cod 2020 a lot of people are very 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 tired of specialists and uh, i'm also kind of tired of specialists too i don't know they just reward bad players like it doesn't take skill to earn a specialist weapon or a specialist ability and that can cause me or a better player to just die randomly i think the specialist characters will be returning sort of like how operators are in modern warfare with the different skins and operators and different characters that you can play as in multiplayer but the specialist abilities and stuff are not returning thank the lord the next point it says you get one piece of equipment to choose from so in your class setup you only get one piece of equipment do you want a frag do you want a stun do you want a throwing knife uh whatever you only get one piece of equipment next up we have score streaks will return so instead of kill streaks how it is in modern warfare score streaks will be returning like how it usually is in like the black ops series games black ops 3 black ops 4 all that stuff i actually really do like score streaks because it encourages people to play the objective it encourages people not to camp and to you know go out there get score streaks get streaks and kind of just you know turn up and whatnot and you know i'm really really happy about that i really really am so score streaks are returning we go that guy just fell off the map right in front of me now the next point here and i'm not really too excited about this it says uh there is no dead silence in the game at this time it's not a perk he cannot confirm how footstep audio is right now i'm sure footstep audio is being worked on right now you know that that stuff always gets toggled and worked on throughout the year but apparently there is no dead silence perk and i feel like dead silence is an essential perk that we need in call of duty games we didn't have that in modern warfare modern warfare did have like some sort of like field upgrade and uh you know you can get dead silence that way but overall man it, it makes rushing and trying to flank and be a good player really really hard when you don't have dead silence and if the footstep audio is not good you know that could really really damage the game so i pray that you know there is a dead silence perk or just the footstep audio is not too too loud let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about dead silence not being in the game potentially next up here 150 health is coming back but there is uh auto healing there's no manual healing this time so when i get damaged in black ops 4 you won't have to heal yourself by clicking a button and you know kind of putting in a stim shot it will auto heal you like pretty much all the previous call of duty games as well as there is 150 health returning so just like how it is in black ops 4 that you know the time to kill and you know 150 health uh that is returning and can you please get off of me let me know how you guys feel about 150 health i actually really really like 150 health personally create a class is unique a hybrid between the pick 10 and the classic uh no gunsmith this time so there will be no gunsmith like how it is in modern warfare but it will be some form of like combination like the pick 10 system and sort of like a unique style of create a class so i'm really excited about that i'm actually a huge fan of the pick 10 system how it is in black ops 2 black ops 3 and in black ops 4 but you know if there's some kind of like unique style uh, I, i'm really really excited about it i can't wait to see how it is 6v6 is the standard player count there is no gunfight mode so 6v6 is coming back of course there is apparently a mode in multiplayer that takes place on a various sections of the new warzone map i don't know that seems pretty interesting i think that could be somewhat cool you know parts of the warzone map that we can play on maybe like ground war how it is in modern warfare we're gonna have to wait and see and the last point here the new a war zone map uh, apparently takes place in russia which that would make sense with the whole cold war theme and you know apparently there is a new map coming to war zone solely for cod 2020 and yeah apparently it's gonna be taking place in russia so i can't wait to see that hopefully that looks cool and that takes you know it's gonna be really cool for gameplay overall i'm excited man could be a lot of snow uh which would be pretty dope as always guys this information is not confirmed take it everything with a grain of salt you know over the past few months we've been getting so many leaks and rumors and i'm sure you know even now we're gonna be getting even more rumors and leaks coming very very soon within the coming weeks you know cloud 2020 is not officially announced yet this is the latest call of duty reveal we will ever have that person just left the game but yeah this will officially be the latest reveal that we have ever received for a call of duty game uh call of duty games are always revealed and announced in may it is now july 
that that's saying something. Call of Duty 2020 could be delayed with everything going on yeah. in the world. With the most recent rumors, they have said that it's still stated that the new Call of Duty will be released in the fall time. So maybe October, November. I personally think we're going to be seeing like a December Call of Duty game. I really, really think so. I think Modern Warfare will come out with more seasons than they actually anticipated. So more, you know, contents and battle passes and seasons to kind of just delay the, you know, the announcement and the reveal and the game release of COD 2020 and probably have it set until December. That's personally what I think. Of course, like I said, take everything with a grain of salt. Nothing is confirmed. Let me know what you guys think about Call of Duty 2020 in the comment section down below. Drop a like if you guys are excited and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. I'm going to be covering all the leaks and rumors regarding 2020 and, uh, you know, seeing what the next Call of Duty is. Tons of videos are coming up on the channel. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let me know your opinions in the comment section, but I'll catch you guys next time.